Previously on Home Free Alaska. Today we are going on an adventure for seven days. We are heading up to our beautiful cabin, our forever homestead that we purchased one year ago in the beautiful state of Alaska. Most of you know we have been anxiously awaiting our big move to Alaska in just a few months when my husband retires from the military. But we get to take a little trip up there for a week to prep the property and get it ready for when we finally move up there for good. I thought that I would take you guys along on this journey, leaving city life, escaping to off-grid freedom to pursue our dreams that we have. We have a vision of the life that we want to live. It's not what most consider to be normal or even desirable, but for us, it's something that we are very passionate about and very excited about. So I thought that I would take you guys along with us to check out the homestead this week as we explore for the first time and get it ready for our big move. These ones are pink. Mom, look. You just squirt this one in your mouth. Tastes like cranberry? Mm hmm. Don't taste like cranberry juice at the end? He's just like cranberry juice. Wow. They have seeds in them, though? Yes. Are these cranberries? Mm hmm. Let's Taste try it. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine that with sugar sweetened into to jelly or syrup, right? Yeah. By your foot, Parker. Oh, dang. Look at that. Oh, dang. <laughs> There's so many. Yes. How exciting. Mama can render these down with some uh, stevia and make you some syrup for your pancakes if you want before we go fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, friends. Another day here on the Alaska homestead. Slow going this morning. We had two really busy days. The first day we went into town almost all day and had to get supplies and groceries. And then yesterday we went into town. Joe needed to get a new driver's license because his Alaska license expired. And we went and had dinner with our friends last night. That was amazing. I hope I don't have <clears throat> cranberry juice. I've been, oh gosh. <laughs> I didn't even look at the mirror this morning. I just like got my coffee and like came outside, whatever. Anyway, we're picking wild cranberries, but we've been eating them as we're picking them. We went out to our friends last night. She is Athabascan, Alaskan native. And so just for those of you that might be like, oh my gosh, make sure those berries are safe to eat. We double checked and triple checked with her. And she's like, yep, those are absolutely cranberries. And we have them Heavy. all over the property. So we have high bush cranberries, low bush cranberries, um, just all kinds of berries out here. And they're so big and just this dark red. Today's the first day that we don't have to go anywhere um, as far as going into town, which is quite the drive. So we're excited that we were able to just wake up and kind of ease into our day and not have to like drive anywhere. So today, as long as the weather holds up, we're going fishing. Um, tons of creeks and lakes around here that have trout, all kinds of fish, grayling, all the things. So Parker has been hounding us, of course, since the day we got here to go fishing. 
So today's the day. We're gonna take our, our little man fishing and hopefully, hopefully he catches something. We'll see it how it goes. Even if we don't, it'll be a lot of fun. Those are dark ones. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Let me see what you got. Whoa. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Go grocery shopping in your own backyard. Look at that. It's yeah. dark. Wow, look at that dark one. The dark ones are probably more sweeter. Yeah. Than sour. Where are you? Look at all these cranberries, P. You might even have enough to save for tomorrow. Yeah. You make some syrup for your pancakes. Wow, buddy, look at those berries. These ones might be salmon eggs. <coughs> they look like salmon eggs, huh? Yeah, they got a little bit of an orange. You ready to go make some pancakes and syrup? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So Joe and Parker are out collecting more berries. <laughs> Parker wants cranberry syrup for the rest of the week on his pancakes and Joe is diligently searching for blueberry bushes. When we lived in Alaska before in Ketchikan, we had wild blueberry bushes all around our house and Lexi would go out and pick blueberries and ask me to put them in her pancakes. So one time her and her friend these lovely children. They gathered all kinds of blueberries. She was probably like eight or nine years old. They smushed them in their hands and then they painted on the side of the house, on the siding, like blueberry handprints all over. Joe came home from work and he was so mad because blueberry is actually really hard to get out. But what a sweet memory, Oh, What a sweet memory. I miss my Lexi girl. So I am rendering down these cranberries, just mixed cranberries and water, and they're gonna just simmer for about 20, 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes until they're completely softened. And then I'm gonna just be squeezing the cranberry juice through like a strainer, maybe coffee filters, cause I don't really have a, you know, tea towel or cheesecloth or anything like that in the cabin right now. And then I'm just gonna sweeten it with stevia because we don't have sugar, we brought stevia. And a little bit of stevia goes a long way, so I should be able to sweeten that syrup up for him really good for his little pancakes this morning. We had an amazing dinner with our friends last night our contractors that's done some work on the property for us that we told you guys about. They're in their 60s and they were both born and raised in Alaska. And it was just really fun to sit down and talk with them and hear their stories and laugh. We were at their house for probably a good three hours last night. And then as if the food she cooked wasn't good enough, she made like fresh salmon filet with like this mayonnaise crumbly top. Um, I think she made it with crackers. It was amazing. She baked that in the oven and then we had fried halibut with tartar sauce and she had this whole spread of like just ch chopped fe what? She had this whole spread of just chopped fresh veggies, cucumbers, squash, all the things and it was just really good. But then she sent us home with some fresh canned salmon that they got this year. They got 150 salmon in their fish wheel. So fresh salmon and then they also smoked salmon and canned that as well, so she sent us home with that. And then she gave us a whole Ziploc baggie full of smoked salmon. Um, you guys, it's like jerky on crack. Like smoked salmon, mm. like I want it right now, it's making my mouth water. <laughs> I was like, oh, you don't have to give us all this, and of course she's like, no, 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 take it. So that was just so fun, and for Parker to just, you know, get to eat some fresh fish from Alaska and kind of listen to her stories from her culture and the way that they do things. And uh, it was just a lot of fun to hang out with people and have good conversation and eat some really good food. Oh, that smells good. Smells like cranberries. Oh man, that smells amazing. I'm just working on mushing up these berries. They're good and soft now, so not much longer, and we'll be able to strain this out. 
and uh, give it a taste test. All right, let's try this out and see what this tastes like. Look how red that is. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's delicious. Parker is gonna love it. That's like the perfect sweetness. Stevia is a natural sweetener. It comes from the stevia plants. So how, how much better could it get? Wild cranberries right here on the Alaska homestead with a natural sweetener. Two ingredients, that's it. What a beautiful, a beautiful outcome to this. Parker's gonna be so excited. All right, so salmon, smoked salmon. It's like so good. They leave the skin on it and everything. Mmm. You guys, it's delicious. So the cranberry syrup turned out really good. Sorry. I think next time I'll add a little bit more liquid to it just so that it's more runny consistency like a syrup. But we don't have any measuring cups or anything here in the cabin right now. So I was just kind of eyeballing everything, but... Either way, turned out great. <laughs> Parker's enjoying his breakfast. So we're gonna cook a simple breakfast for Joe and I, probably like bacon and eggs or something. And then we'll see if the weather clears up and we are gonna hopefully go fishing. It's starting to rain, so we'll see where the day takes us. And then this is the canned smoked salmon that she gave us. Just so delicious. All right, we're all ready, packed up to go fishing. Hopefully the weather holds out long enough because <laughs> it is sprinkling and very gloomy today. So you never know. But even if we get a little bit wet, that'll be all right. I think the fish like this weather anyway. Well, it started raining pretty good, but we found a spot under a bridge. <laughs> so it's keeping us dry. It's very chilly. It's like probably 50, 52 degrees out. Seems like when it rains, it's even colder, but we found a spot. We're gonna throw the poles in and fish for a little bit. This is where I saw that one fish. I'm trying to see if I can get it. Yeah. All right, so we're hiking down to a lake. We didn't have any light, uh, luck at the creek, although there is fish in that creek. I'm told there's salmon and trout. Oh, uh, we didn't have any luck. So we're hiking down to this lake to give lake fishing a shot. Here's the lake. Let's see if we have any better luck over here. Look, Mama, show the camera. What, baby? Are they dead salmon? No, they look like pike. I want to try to get them. Oh, they look like pike. You see the lily pads over there, P? Oh. Those are lily pads right there. Yeah. I like bobbing. I like fishing with bobbers. 
it's easier. You don't you have to keep... see when you have one. Yeah, and you don't have to reload in all the time. Yeah. Parker, are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Even though we didn't catch anything today? Mm, yeah. Yeah. It would have been more fun to catch something. We'll try again though before we leave, okay? Well, at least I saw a big old dead salmon. Yeah, you did see a dead salmon. And three dead pike over there. Yep. Is it a leech? It has legs. It has legs. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh. No, I don't want it. No, I don't want to suck my blood. That's gross. Oh, that's gross. Don't don't kill it. No, yeah, I'm trying to get it on the rock. So we have leeches here? Alright. So even though we didn't catch anything today, we still had fun out here in Alaska. Whoa, buddy, careful. <laughs> I think we have a lot to learn as far as like where to go, what kind of bait to use. There's lots of different fishing regulations up here uh, as far as like when you can get certain kinds of salmon, when you can't, trout, rainbow trout, all the things. Some places it's just catch and release. Some places you can keep them depending on where you're at. So um, we tried to be mindful of all the regulations while we were out today, but we had a lot of fun and it was great to get out of the cabin. No, it wasn't. I'm used to saying that for the apartment. It was fun to get out and even though it rained earlier, it cleared up. Like we have no rain right now. So it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's still a little chilly though. So we took everything out, mopped the floor. Look how much better it looks. So I don't like this flooring. We're gonna change it. But for now, look at the difference. <laughs> this is not mopped. This is mopped. Not mopped, mopped. What a big difference. Got a little section left, and then I gotta do the bedroom, but then it's all clean. Like that beard you're growing, that little, little what is that, a little goatee? Mmm, scruffy. <laughs> you're gonna be my mountain man pretty soon, baby. Yeah. What? Very <laughs> tar. I like facial hair. What can I say? So we're getting ready to turn the generator on and cook up some dinner. We're just doing simple hamburger patties with like cheese with sauteed onions and mushrooms and then maybe like broccoli again or something because I have leftover broccoli that I didn't cook. Um, I know I could save some of it for another meal so we're going to do that tonight for dinner. And then I am going to paint this door. It is so gross. We have paint so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this tonight I think and then I was talking to Joe and I was thinking so this is the living room and this technically should be would be the dining room area because the kitchen's right here right why did they put the wood-burning stove right there that doesn't make any sense to me I think that the wood burning stove should have been put on this side in the living room because then we would have more room over here to put an actual dining room table. Obviously that would be a project later on. We have a lot to do when we first get here, but we are, you know, experienced with doing wood stoves. We put in our own wood burning stove with backsplash and everything at the homestead property. If you guys missed that video, I'll link it for you. It turned out super cute. It was quaint, it was adorable, and it kept us nice and toasty. So I know that Joe knows how to do it. So I think eventually, because this is our forever homestead, as far as right now goes, right? I mean, who knows, life could change, but that's the plan as of now. I need to make this space more functional. And if we do end up having another baby um, with little ones running around and stuff, I don't want the kitchen table right next to the wood burning stove. So, and then keeping in mind that the fridge also goes on this side. Right now it's on the front deck, right? Because we're keeping all the food cold outside. But normally you have the fridge right here by the cupboards and then it only leaves this tiny little space in the middle for a kitchen table. And then you've got the wood burning stove. So if you're in the middle of winter and you've got the wood burning heat going and you're trying to sit at the dinner table and eat, that's not gonna be very comfortable. It's gonna be very hot because you guys, this thing is a Blaze King wood burning stove and it gets super, super hot.
Parker's little lizard fell just perfectly so that it fell between the stairs and the wall. So he's sad. Joe's trying to fish it out with a uh, fishing pole and a hook. <laughs> what is that? Did you guys look at Parker's view from his bed? <laughs> so pretty. He, he got, got it. it. He got it. Don't let it go, Joe. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There it is. It's right here. Oh, yay. You got your lizard. Ooh, it's dirty. <laughs> Ooh, it really got him on skin. Parker, you need to go to the sink and wash it out, okay? Yeah. Yay. At least we caught something today. Joe said at least we caught something today. <laughs> right, Parker? Yeah. <laughs> Who said we couldn't catch nothing, huh? Dad can do anything, huh? Yeah, he can catch anything. I know. He's like, he's amazing. He can do anything. What are you doing? Oh, did I lose it? Are you fishing? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I'm trying. Fishing for a lizard? Did you catch one? I did. And then I lost it. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, <laughs> you got it, Pete. I think I snagged him in the mouth. Good job. Yeah, I snagged him right in the lip. <laughs> right on the top of the lip. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Electronics when you can fish off the banister, huh? Well, thank goodness for generators and gasoline, right? We all got to take a nice hot shower tonight. Joe's in there now finishing up. 
What a beautiful day. Thanks for hanging out with us again here on the Alaska Homestead, you guys. So exciting, right? So tomorrow we are gonna be picking up around the property. We're cutting down some more trees to clear the way for the solar panels that are gonna be going up next month. And we have a bunch of garbage and trash like you guys saw on the first day that the sellers left. So we're gonna make a huge pile that we can take to the dump. Um, we don't have trash pickup here, obviously, so we have to haul it into the nearest town to the dump. But we're going to just be pulling together as a family tomorrow, chopping up firewood and stacking it so that it's ready. Because when we get back here permanently in November, the snow will already be on the ground. So we need to make sure that we've got firewood prepped and ready to go. And just, you know, make sure the property is the way that we want it because it'll be winter by the time we get here. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us again. We love sharing this journey with you guys. So much to do, so much to plan for. We are so excited and just in awe of this beautiful property that the Lord has blessed us with. So we're gonna end this evening. Joe started a little fire for us to kind of take the chill off the air. If we don't do that late in the night, I get super cold and this wood burning stove stays nice and hot even after the fire has gone out. So I'll be taking you guys along with us tomorrow as we work on the property. And we just appreciate you guys being here with us. I hope you're enjoying these videos. This. Uh, Alaska homestead series that we've got going on this week, I guess you could call it. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's going to be it for now. Take care and stay blessed, and we will see you very soon on the next video.